I'll grab it. Hopefully we can fit it in your car. We're gonna have a crazy pickup video for you. Um, it's gonna require a dolly, a comforter, a truck, and some straps. So that's basically what K-Train is doing right now. Granted, I know the house looks like super dark and grungy. I gotta add some uh, air to the dolly tires right now. And we gotta go to her dad's to borrow a truck because we only currently have the two cars over there and that's not gonna work. It's only probably like 10, 15 minutes down the road and we're also dropping $500. Smalls is busting out some work. Okay. Do we need to grab the PlayStation to drop off? Or no, uh, that's gonna be Friday. Okay. We got another video game console drop off coming on Friday and this thing is super squeaky. I'd say we'll probably get it as close to there as possible and then we'll hopefully wheel it all the way here into the house and make it work. So, catch you there. Hopefully this lady lets me um, record a little bit. Um, I asked her, I said, can I bring my GoPro and record? So we're still pending that, so. I think we're good. Test it out. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. What about your end? Hey, high five. I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> we're gonna go out and score. I got the money, wallet. All right, let's go check it out. This is the current craze game, Pac-Man. I like the little man. He's the only, he eats up all the other things, you know. How about that Pac-Man song that I hear around here all the time? Yeah, you sing it, you sing it a lot, you hum it. <laughs> Indeed, and play it on the jukebox at full volume. Psychologists remind us every younger generation has to have something to scare adults. Right now, all of this is certainly it. Right I was Terry just to test it out. <laughs> it already looks good, yeah. And this is actually kind of nice though, because that Asteroids one was way bigger than this. The cabinet was bigger? Yeah. It was so hard to get it in the house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, it looks good. Is it just set to free play then? Okay. Okay. Yes, no, I actually yeah. found this sign, the marquee, one time at a garage sale. Here, get on here. You know, so yeah. originally that that's a gig there. I've never seen this one before, to be honest. It's just a, is it just a Boeing, or do you use, because well, this no, one looked no. like it had a... This is a gal. Originally was a Galaga, but yeah, oh, somebody put it in. I see, they swapped here's, all the stuff. Right here's the board for that. Oh, okay. okay. I haven't tried it, eh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I was gonna test it, I still haven't done it. No, this is crazy. Okay. But yeah, it's yeah. Like an average. No, and yeah, that's why. But see the number here? So that, it's a real freaking deal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Are those always supposed to match on the cabs if they're off? The original one would be. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I don't know much about, obviously, all the parts, because the asteroids, and you might know this, um, everything was, well, technically, I kind of did like a barter where I started with like 10 bucks and worked my way up to this machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was super cool. Got it and then it was not working when I picked it up with my buddy. We got it home, we, you know, we messed around a little bit. We got it working and it was playing for like the longest time. And I was like, okay, this right. is super cool. Yep, good. And I thought about flipping it. So I got this guy that was interested, pretty much paid double of what I put into it. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. But then um, all of a sudden it cut out like the machine or the, the monitor went completely blank except for a white dot in the middle. But you could still hear the audio, the lights would work, the blank. buttons would yeah. work, yes. Yeah, and I thought blank. it was either a fuse or a wire or no, something. It be. So here's the deal. Hard to see, but we got the machine. Uh, as you guys just saw, we picked up a 1981 Miss Pac-Man arcade. I'm doing this quickly at the red light because we got about 30 minutes to get home. And what's up? 
Um, I was gonna ask you, but it looked like the blue version of it was sitting in the back, but it looked like it had been hollowed out. Like, it looked like it was just the wood. Oh, I didn't even notice that, to be honest. But no, uh, we're gonna go home. We gotta unload this bad boy. I'm gonna put down the GoPro so I can focus on driving and make sure we don't lose this damn thing. My job is to watch it. So, we're gonna go nice and slow. Really? Oh, boy. Okay. Right, keep my eye on that. All right, catch you guys back at home. Yeah, she's up and running. All right, you're good. You yeah, keep going. <laughs> Did you die? No, <laughs> I won. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So we got it home and it's officially in the room. I got to figure out where to make space. I got my buddy Caleb right now. How's it going? He's uh, testing her out just to make sure everything is still working, but she looks good. So there is a little bit of damage to the sides of the cabs, but I mean, overall the marquee and the game and the audio, everything is running perfectly. So 500 bucks, I'm content with this bad boy. So I'll probably overlay some better um, like aesthetic shots of the machine probably tomorrow when I get a little bit better lighting right now. I just wanted to kind of do a quick little recap that we've successfully got this bad boy inside and she is working. So $500, what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Would you guys drop 500 for this? And I'm also probably gonna have it sit right next to the Asteroids machine. I'm gonna have to move the door and move the whole shelf and whatnot. And I apologize for the iffy lighting, but yeah, she's she's up and running. So I'm finally able to do a little bit of a voiceover. I'm just gonna pre-warn, there's kind of no script to this. I just kind of wanted to showcase that I did end up moving the bookshelf that was to the right of the Asteroids machine. And that's where the Pac-Man is gonna be stationed. I would love to definitely turn on both of these at the same time. I'm just a little bit fearful because they're both hooked up to one outlet currently that that might be too much. I don't want something to happen. One of my favorite things about this though definitely is just the artwork. I have a lot of shots playing right now of the marquee the sides the controllers the game and you guys can see here as well too the screen is pretty much working 100 percent correctly as it should be the joystick is super responsive the colors are very vivid and bright amazing i don't know if this is the original monitor or if you know after the purchase here and the gentleman that i bought it from fixed it if he swapped it into more of an led screen that was something that he just mentioned briefly about doing as well for the asteroids machine which i might hit him up in the future for that as well and moving forward, um, I do have a lot of video games, or I shouldn't say a lot, but a lot that at least, you know, have meaning to me or things that I like to collect. I know my collection might not be the most extravagant or the most expensive, but that's just kind of what I like to do is collect things that appeal to me and make the videos here to showcase them. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to say right now is that at one point, moving out of this duplex here and getting a little bit more space, I would love to make a full arcade slash game collection room. And if doing so, hopefully, in the future I will be able to actually make a little bit of a better display and maybe a collection video to kind of display everything between my video games my Pokemon cards and now my two beautiful arcade cabinets that was the only kind of thing that I wanted moving forward here was to make sure that both of them were side by side and I try to add a little bit of decoration up top as you saw in some of the previous shots of the plushies and some of the Funko Pops and whatnot just because I do want to give them a little bit of a touch just to kind of make it not seem so boring and make the corner feel a little bit more appealing but yeah that's uh pretty much today's pickup regardless thank you guys for watching i'm gonna leave it here make it a little bit easier video to watch if you're new to the channel my name is dylan also known as rolling retro it would you know mean the most if you guys could go down and hit that subscribe button and stay up to date with all the videos i will catch you guys in the next one i gotta get moving hopefully you guys enjoyed the video leave a like let me know what you think down below in the comments and i will catch you all in the next episode